Welcome back, everybody. This is Wild Rage coming at you with some War Alliance. Hope your quarantines are going well. Mine's <laughs> going pretty good. A little bored, but, you know, I got some Legos, so that's been helping fill the time. I'm going to go on a walk later, so that will be fun. Let me know what you guys are doing to keep yourselves entertained during uh, quarantine. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And, yeah, we're here today, of course, to look at another deck, and that deck is something I came up with last night. But first, let's talk about the latest balance changes that happened yesterday. We have the Laser Tower, reduced power cost from 5 to 4, reduced HP from 1,200 to 750, decreased range from 8.5 to 7, increased lifetime 50 seconds to 55 seconds, and increased the time before firing from 0.5 seconds to 0.75 seconds. So, you know, there's some of that. Now, this is the one that I'm most excited about. Volt, the increased chain radius from 4.5 to 5.5, the increased range from 8 to 9, increased attack speed by 0.4 seconds. Now, they did decrease the damage from 50 to 45, decreased damage of second and third hit to 50%, and decreased stun duration from 0.3 to 0.2 seconds. But you know what? Overall, I think that uh, Volt is looking pretty balanced for the first time in a long time. He's still a bit squishy, but... But he's always been squishy. Scarab, the decreased stun duration of Zapplings from 0.5 to 0.3. Increased Zappling spawn interval from, point two, or from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Sorry about that. Orbital laser, increased radius from 1.4 to 1.9. Increased damage from 210 to 280. And reduced the damage to towers to 25% of the original <clears throat> power. And then last but not least, Elite Bazooka Troopers, they increased the spawn time from one second to two seconds. So instead of taking one second to spawn, it takes two seconds to spawn. But I'm sure you guys get that. Now I'm enjoying, I, I don't know, I don't have a problem with any of these um, nerfs or buffs or whatever. I think they're all pretty good. The Elite uh, Bazooka Troopers, I know some people don't like that. But uh, I think that two seconds there gives a little bit more time to deal with them because they're pretty strong for what they cost. And yeah, but like I said, Volt is what I'm most excited about. I don't know if you guys remember, but Volt used to be my man, used to be my go-to hero, but then he got nerfed all the, um, well, H-E double hockey sticks, and people stopped using him because people were complaining that he was too powerful, and maybe he was just a little bit too powerful, but I think with these latest changes, he is finally balanced, and yeah. Let's take a look at the deck that I came up with. I think it's this slot. Nope, it's this slot. Nope, it's this one. Here we go. We've got Volt for our hero. Then we have the Grenaders. We have Wasp, the um, Flying Saucer, Heavy Tank, the Missile Silo, the uh, Airstrike, um, Boom Spiders. Is that what those are? Yeah, Boom Spiders and the Drill all coming in at 3.1. So a pretty fast, cycly deck. Um, you know, you want to be playing volt behind things like this and this and then you know maybe playing uh this and then keeping him mostly on defense he's not uh, the most offensive of um heroes because he does have low hp but i've been having fun with him so let's go ahead hop into battle here and see if we can't pick up a victory for the video or we'll pick up a loss i don't know which one it's going to be but we're going to get one of those right here right now and that's the way it's going to be here we go hopping into battle we're playing x mad queen i think it's just mad queen but um you know so let's see what we can do here we are going to move up a little bit here and then this isn't my favorite starting hand actually we don't have much much here so let's go ahead and uh put out the wasp we're gonna put the wasp on this side though wasp on this side because uh volt can take care of those guys coming in there and then we'll get ready with our drill here in just a second drill coming in right now there comes the drill Drill coming in, then we'll get up here and we'll do a little bit of damage to Hellbrand. Not much, but the chain. The chain is what I'm going for. Okay, so we need to back up a bit here. Backing up, backing up. We'll put this down here, that down there. And that'll help with all that. We'll put this down here. Do some damage. Do some damage. Stop the push from coming in there. I mean, they're going to get some damage done to us. Well, not to us, but, you know, you know, a little bit of damage done either way. We will uh, airstrike those right there. And then we'll go ahead and play our missile silo over here. We'll come up here and we'll attack. Um, what is that? That's Hellbrand. We'll attack Hellbrand. Do some damage to him there. Do some damage. And we'll play this over here. And then we're going to back up over here. We are, have absolutely nothing to do with those grenaders, unfortunately. They're going to do some damage to us. But we'll stop them from completely taking our tower there. So, I mean, it took... Some of our tower were down to 12, 11 there, but we are able to mitigate most of the damage. They could have taken our entire tower if we hadn't defended that well. So, so, let's go ahead 
And we'll play our heavy tank here in just a second. I'm going to wait for a couple of, uh, well, I'm going to wait for my energy to go up a bit. And then we'll play these. Then we'll move up just a little bit, and we'll attack that. Now, the thing I like about Volt is his chain attack. I think his chain attack is absolutely amazing and stupendous and wonderful. And then we're going to do that. So we'll get ready with our airstrike here. We'll go ahead and take those down there. Then we're going to get this in here. We'll come up here. We'll move up a bit. Move up a bit. Well, you don't want to be too... we got to be a little careful. We'll play those. I'll take care of that. We'll move back here. Get our health back up to speed. Then we're going to play our missile silo kind of defensively here just to help out with things coming in there. They are just having a great old time against our tech here, as you see with all the emotes. They are just loving it. Absolutely loving it. We'll go ahead and play this. And then we'll play our flying saucer over here. We'll play our rocketeers right here. And then we'll play our drill over here. Then we'll go ahead and play our airstrike right there, helping take care of that. We'll play another um, wasp there. We'll play the flying saucer on the other side over here. Then we'll go ahead and play our, what are those called? Those are called Rocketeers. And there we go, three-star victory. Good game, well played to Mad Queen. And yeah, that's what the Volt deck is doing, or at least this Volt deck is doing. Now, I tried out a Volt a couple days ago, and it didn't, it didn't work for me really at all. At all did it work. It, it just didn't work for me at all. But with these latest changes, now I know it is a bit of a nerf with the damage reduction and a few other reductions, but I think the increases are enough that it balanced it out to a point where I think it's very playable now. I think Volt is very playable. I think he's back, which is good news for me because I love Volt. I think he's a cool um, hero. The artwork is cool. The design is cool. The concept behind it is cool. Just everything about it is cool. We're hopping back into battle here. And um, I suppose I'd take a second here and thank you all for coming back and supporting me and liking the videos, commenting on the videos, all that good stuff like that. If you're not subscribed and you're still here, don't subscribe just yet. Stick around a little bit longer to see if you want to, you know, you like the things that are coming out of my mouth and the gameplay that's going down in front of you. And if you do like it, subscribe. If you don't, I understand. It's okay. Not everyone's going to subscribe, but that's okay. And I thank you for at least checking out my video. That is um, all one can ask for, really. We're going to play our UFO. And then we'll play this up here. That is unfortunate. And we're going to play our missile silo over here. i got to be careful with uh, with the old, uh, what do you call it there? Yes, we do. we got to be careful with that. Oh! Oh! Well! Well! That was unexpected. Good game. Well played to the Punisher. And yeah. Yeah. That is, um, that was really quick. That was really quick. Should we try to get one more? Let's try to get one more battle in here. One more battle in here and uh, see if we can't pick up one more victory. A three for would be nice, but, you know, maybe a loss would be in there just to sprinkle a little extra spice into the life of the video. Is that is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, we're hopping into battle here. We are playing Echidna. 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 I don't know how to say that. They are angry off the bat. Don't know why, but they are. We will go ahead and start our missile silo right here, just because, well, I don't know what else to do. And we'll come up here. No, 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 no. We're going to move over here. We'll go over here. We need to move a little bit more, a little bit more. We'll play our wasp there. There we go. Getting that done. We're actually not going to get too much damage done to the tower there, but you know what? That's okay. We'll get a little bit of damage done to uh, Victor Von Boom there, and we'll get a little bit of damage done with our drill there, so... I mean, all in all, not the worst of um, scenarios that could have happened there. Not necessarily the best, but not the worst either. So, And that chain damage. That chain damage is just amazing what it does, where it goes, how it does things. It is just, it's great. It's great. Here comes the heavy tank. Heavy tank coming down there. I know I see that coming in there. So we're going to play this and this and this. And then we need to move away up here because those will hurt us. And then we'll play this. And they're going to get some damage done to our tower. There's no getting around that. Damage has been done to our tower, but but it could have been worse. It could have been worse. We're going to play this, and we'll play this here. We need to move away from there so we don't... Ooh, it did some damage to me. Did some damage to me. Oh, my goodness. We need to, um, you know, we need to back away from there, huh? Huh, 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 huh. What are we going to do? I think we're just going to chill. We're just going to chill. We're going to airstrike right there because we can. And then they're going to do that, and that's going to be game. 
Good game, well played to Echidna, who's angry. Angry, angry, angry. That will just raise your blood pressure and lower your life expectancy. Don't be angry. You can't win them all. You can only win some. Everyone has a deck that's going to beat you. I mean, I imagine this deck wouldn't do so good against um, like a heavy spawner deck. Um, I'm sure there's a few decks out there that this deck wouldn't work great against. But you know what? It's working great for me so far. And that's all that matters. Here's a look at the deck one more time. We have the Grenaders, the Wasp, the Flying Saucer, the Heavy Tank, Missile Silo, Airstrike, Boom Spiders, and the lovely Drill with Volt all coming in at 3.1. For the cost, which is very nice, very nice. And yeah, that is um, that is it. That's going to do it. Let me know what you guys think of the balance changes of late. What do you, uh, the last balance changes? What do you think they could have done better? What do you like? What do you dislike? All that good stuff. Leave a comment. Leave a like. If you're not subscribed and you're still here, go ahead and subscribe. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for this time around, everybody. I hope you were enjoyed. I hope you had a good time. And maybe learned a thing or two. I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you were just entertained. I don't know. I don't know because I don't get to talk to you. But if you leave a comment in the comment section below, we can speak through writing. And yeah. 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 That's going to do it, everybody. Um, be safe. Stay not bored. And until next time, this is Wild Rage saying peace out and keep up the chaos.